Here is the digital docking speaker from Cyber Acoustics. I gotta say guys, this has a very nice simplistic design. It has a very modern design. It doesn't have any really buttons on the front that take away from the overall design. All the buttons are actually located on the top. We have your standby button, which I'll turn on in a second. And we have your volume up and volume down buttons right there. On the back here we have your battery compartment, which actually uses four AA's, so this does not need to be always plugged into AC power, which is nice. There are actually four in there. There's one hidden behind this bottom battery. I'll take it out for you guys. There it is. It is indeed hidden there. And we even have an adjustable stand right here, or support, I guess you can call it, yeah. And adjustable support, which when turned, hopefully this, there it goes. It's a pretty good view. The camera's having a hard time focusing. There we go. And this is for smaller iPods, such as the newest iPod Nano, versus the fifth generation iPod, which is obviously much thicker. Moving back here again, we have your power on, power off, which I will turn that on, and as soon as you turn it on, you see a nice blue light, that means it's on and ready to play. However, when you press the standby button, it suddenly goes into red, meaning it's in standby. So let's turn that back on. Going back down here on the bottom, or I mean on the back rather, we have your DC uh, plug and your aux input. On the side here, we have nothing except for, well, black. And the same thing goes for the opposite side. So now let's dock an actual iPod. For this video's purpose, I have three iPods with me. We have an iPod 5th generation. We have an iPod Nano, the newest model of the touchscreen. And when I say technically iPod, I mean the iPhone, because it has the iPod application built in, obviously. So let's start out with this. Docking that. Docking is uh, um, obviously as easy as it seems. It's any, I mean, it's like any other dock out there. Let's launch iPod. And for this video's purpose, I will play something 80s. This is always a good song. Maniac. And of course you can change music just as easily. Change songs rather. Um, let me go. Come on Eileen, this is a great song. Skip ahead to the bass part. It actually goes pretty loud. Now, i got to be honest, guys, I was actually a little impressed by the amount of bass it puts out. It's obviously nothing like my Logitech subwoofer that's under the desk, but you got to keep in mind, for this little, I mean, for this small form factor, I was actually a little more impressed than I expected to be. So let's stop playing my iPhone. Pull it out and it'll stop playing, it's fine. Now let's put in a fifth generation iPod, showing that this does indeed work with older models. It actually just fits right there. You can see that there's a little bit of space. And since the Christmas season is upon us, let's play Christmas music. If it plays. Oh, there it goes. Now, this is an old song. Um, it's obviously Peanuts, uh, you know, Charlie Brown Christmas, one of the best albums out there, in my opinion. Uh, this is an old song, so you're going to hear a hiss in the background. And my camcorder thinks my iPod's a face. That's funny. The face tracking software popped up. Skip ahead a few songs here. It's a hard drive, so it's obviously not as fast as today's iPods. This is actually a really good song. Let's skip ahead to some lyrics. And that is a fifth generation iPod. Now let's move to the one of the newest iPod Nano, actually the newest iPod Nano. And it does indeed look very tiny in there. It actually kept playing because I plugged it in and I already had a song playing. This is season two of Lost. Yes, I have a great variety in music. Welcome to Rapture, this is from Bioshock. If you swipe over here, we can skip ahead. And as you can see, while it's still playing, this blue light is indeed lit blue, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you guys are into lights as much as I am, but I really do like seeing that in my room at night. Uh, maybe I'm just easily amused. I just love lights. So let's take the iPod out, and that's enough music. It's a very good product. Um, obviously, you cannot expect amazing sound. For what it is, though, I cannot say this enough. 
it's definitely a great product and I use it all the time. And what's really great about this product is you don't always have to have it plugged in. So if you're having a Christmas party, for instance, you know, judging the music I just played, you can take this downstairs to a friend's house, the office, wherever you go, and just have music playing and the battery life is great. I don't, I don't have an exact number on uh, battery life hours, but believe me when I say it's pretty impressive. And of course, if you don't want to use battery uh, power, you can plug it into the um, DC uh, input right there. And of course, do not forget, we have an aux input back here, which I cannot demonstrate because I don't have the cable on me at this moment. Unfortunately, I, um, I apologize for that. But believe me when I say you can plug your iPod Shuffle and anything else that uses aux input via the 35 millimeter uh, standard. So that is a Cyber Acoustics digital docking speaker for iPod. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well plug in my new iPod Touch. I always have problems plugging this one in. I don't know why. Yep, there we go. Let's play some music. And of course, I'm just showing you guys this uh, just to do some variety. Let's do, um, what should we play? Marley and Me. I actually use this song for my 300th video. Love that video edit. And there's the um, iPod Touch playing. Now, unlike the iPod Nano, you can actually exit the app and uh, use other apps, so. so that's pretty cool. So that is a digital docking speaker from CyberAcoustics.com, guys. I will put all the official information in the video description below. I apologize if this review was a little unorganized. There's only so much I can say in terms of sound quality since this video camera obviously does not truly capture the sound quality you would expect in person. But it is a great product overall. So thank you for watching, guys. Check out my social links under the video, and I will see you guys next time. This video is sponsored by AccessoriesDorm.com, a supplier of accessories for iPhone, iPod, etc. Use code TC1 at checkout to save 5% off your order.